Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rob, and I'm sure you clicked on this video because you're curious on how to redistribute a default route into BGP. Or, what is the correct way to actually redistribute the default route because there are three different ways that you can do it. So, if that's why you clicked on this video, I am here to help, and we're gonna take a look at a real simple topology that I put together where I'm going to do it uh, each of those ways and show you the differences between all of them and hopefully this will clear up any confusion. So if we take a look at the topology, there are two routers. That's all that's needed for this example. We have R1 and R2. They are peering over a lonely WAN link right here. Uh, this is actually on the 10.0.0.0 slash 30 network, uh, even though I don't think that's relevant. So let's go ahead and look at what we have over here on router 2, which should be nothing right now. So I'll issue show BGP, show IP route BGP, show BGP show BGP summary. So we see that we have a neighbor relationship with R1, but we don't have any routes, so nothing going on. And with that being said, we're going to hop up to R1. So let's start with the network command. And I am going to say network 0.0.0.0. .0 so let's see if that originates a default route for us. So we'll hop over here back to R2. Let's issue the show BGP command and we have nothing. Show IP route BGP, nothing. So let's try this, do show IP route. We do not have a default route in the routing table, so let's add that. So we'll say IP route 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, 0.0.0.0, 10.0.20.1. And you see that we have a default brought over to us from R1. So once we plug the default route into the routing table, along with the network quad zero in the BGP process, that gave us our default route. So one of the first ways to do this is network quad zero and the conditions are that the default route must exist in the routing table. I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to essentially start over with the next method. So I'll say router BGP 6500 no network quad zero. We'll go back into the BGP process here and we will say like I'm sure most of you are familiar with, in any other routing protocol, default information originate. And let's see what we have on R2. Nothing. Show BGP, nothing. So anyways, since I intended for this to be a fairly quick video, we're not going to sit here all day and wait to see if something happens, to see if it's lagging. Uh, I'll just bring up my notes once again and show you the conditions that need to be met. So we just issued the default information originate command. Now, if this was OSPF and the default route exists in the routing table, we would have a default route carried down to all of our peers. So let's just go ahead and stick that back in there. So IP route 0000 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 10.0.20.1. And I already know in advance that we're still not going to have a default route, which 
I believe this is one of those things that could present itself as something that's slightly confusing to some. The reason for that is because, and you may have already read this my, or my notes and, and be ahead of this, but the conditions for default information originate in BGP are the default route needs to exist in the routing table, plus we need to uh, use the redistribute static command. So this right here is meant to be used in conjunction with redistribute static. So if we on R1 go back into the BGP process and we issue the redistribute static command, we should see that we now have a default route and we do. Show IP route BGP. So the last one, which relies on you setting it specifically for each neighbor, redistributes the default route unconditionally. And what that means is, is that you see that I took the default route out of commission. And I removed those previous commands. So let's go back into the BGP process. And we will say neighbor 10.0.0.2, which is R2, and say default originate. And again, remember, no default route in the routing table. And we should come over here to R2, and we should have a default. I don't know, I keep typing in uh, show IP route. <laughs> if it's not in the BGP process, it's not going to be in there. Uh, what might help is if I refresh the BGP process. So I'll do clear IP BGP 6500. And there we go. So I just had to reset the BGP process, but you see that with nothing else happening, no default route in the routing table, nothing else, just simply based on that neighbor command with default originate after it, we originated a default route to R2. So show IP route, and there is our default route uh, in BGP. Just to recap really quick, the three methods are using the network command with quad zeros. If you do this, the default route must exist in the routing table. Default uh, information originate is the next method. Conditions are that the default route must exist in the routing table and you must have the redistribute static command. So, and I think the reason for this is because it's a little bit backwards. I think this is this way because if you already have redistribute static, it won't distribute a default route by default. So uh, instead of saying, hey, issue the default information originate command and then redistribute static, it's more like, hey, I'm already redistributing statics. I also want to redistribute the default. So that is where you would enter this specifically. And then again, last but not least, the one we just went over, neighbor, uh, in this example, 10.0.0.2, default originate, originates the default route unconditionally. So anyways, I hope that helps. I hope that clears up any confusion for anybody that was curious. Uh, I really hope you found this video helpful. I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.